In this video, I want to show you how to get started crocheting the Isla Mirada Crochet Lace Shawl. This is a half hexagon top-down construction in offset lace with beautiful ruffled edging. It can be worn a number of ways, including a halter top, skirt, sarong, and shawl. It's a two-row pattern repeat, and let's get started. Let's start with the chart. And as you can see, there is a setup row of foundation ovals. The foundation ovals in this pattern are a chain four and treble crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. For the setup row, it is nine foundation ovals. Okay, let's start with the setup row. It is chain four and treble crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. Treble crochet is yarn over twice. Insert your hook in the fourth chain from your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. That's one foundation oval. Chain four. And treble crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook in the chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Two foundation ovals. You want to do that seven more times for a total of nine foundation ovals. Okay, this is what your work should look like at the end of the setup row, and you should have nine foundation ovals. Then row one begins with a chain six that counts as a double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the same foundation oval, five double crochets in the next foundation oval, then double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next foundation oval. You want to repeat the five double crochet and double crochet, chain three, double crochet all the way across. Row one begins with a chain six, which counts as a double crochet, chain three. And we will work one double crochet in that first foundation oval. Then in the next foundation oval, work five double crochets.
and in the next foundation oval work double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Our repeat for this row is five double crochets in the next foundation oval, then double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next foundation oval. And you want to repeat this all the way across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row one. Row two begins with a chain six, which counts as a double crochet chain three, and work five double crochets in the first chain three space. Then it's chain two, double crochet two together over the first and fifth of the next five double crochet section, chain two, and five double crochets in the next chain three space. You want to repeat from the chain two through the five double crochets, all the way across at the end of the last repeat it's chain three and double crochet in the last space row two begins with a chain six which counts as a double crochet chain three turn your work five double crochets in the first chain three space chain two, then over that five double crochet section in the row below, we're going to work double crochet two together over the first and fifth double crochet. Double crochet two together is yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the fifth stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook, chain two, five double crochets in the next chain three space. Our repeat for this row is chain two, double crochet two together, chain two and five double crochets. You want to repeat that all the way across. At the end of the last repeat, chain three and double crochet in that same last chain three space. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row two. Row three begins with a chain six, which counts as a double crochet chain three and double crochet in the same space. One double crochet into each of the next five double crochets, then double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the space below the last double crochet two together stitch. Two double crochets in each of the next two double crochets, double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet, two double crochets each in each of the next two double crochets, then double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the space below the previous double crochet two together, 
one double crochet into each of the next five double crochets, double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the space below the uh, previous double crochet two together stitch, and two double crochets in each of the next two double crochets, double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet, two double crochets each in each of the next two double crochets, double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the space below the previous double crochet two together stitch, one double crochet into each of the next five double crochets, and double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next chain three space. Row three begins with a chain six, which counts as a double crochet, chain three, turn your work, and work one double crochet in the first chain three space. One double crochet into each of the next five double crochets, and double crochet, chain three, double crochet in that space below the double crochet two together on the previous row. So we're not working into the stitch, we're working into the space below the stitch in the center of it. Then two double crochets each in each of the next two double crochets. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet. Two double crochets each in each of the next two double crochets. double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the space below the next double crochet two together. One double crochet into each of the next five double crochets. double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the space below the next double crochet two together stitch. Two double crochets each in each of the next two double crochets. double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet. Two double crochets each in each of the next two double crochets. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet under the next double crochet two together stitch. One double crochet into each of the next five double crochets. and then double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the last chain three space. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row three. Row four starts with a double uh, chain six, which counts as a double crochet, chain three, five double crochets in the next chain three space, double crochet, a chain two, double crochet two together over the first and fifth double crochet in the next five double crochet section, chain two, 
and one double cro five double crochets in the next chain three space. You want to repeat chain two, double crochet two together, chain two, five double crochets. You want to repeat that all the way across. At the end of the last repeat, it is chain three and double crochet in the same last space. Row four starts with a chain six, which counts as a double crochet chain three. Turn your work. Five double crochets in that first chain three space. Chain two, double crochet two together over the first and fifth double crochet in the next double five double crochet section. So it's yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook in the fifth stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. You don't want to get confused with the double crochets in the V stitches with the five double crochet section. So if you're unsure where to work, the five double crochets here were worked one double crochet into each of them. It's those five double crochets that you're going to work the double crochet two together over. Chain two, five double crochets in the next chain three space. chain two, double crochet two together over the first and fifth of the next five double crochets. Chain two, five double crochets in the next chain three space. Chain two, double crochet two together over the first and fifth double crochet of the next five double crochet section. And you want to repeat this all the way across. At the end of the last repeat, five double crochets in the last chain three space. Chain three and double crochet again in that same space. And this is what your work should look like at the end of rows three and four. At the end of row four, our pattern repeat is rows three and four. You want to continue repeating rows three and four for your desired length. You can put a stitch marker in the middle of these two sections here. This is where we'll be doing our corner increases from here out as the pattern grows. Once you get established in the pattern, it'll be very easy to see where those are, and you'll notice that this section this section and this section continue to grow equally as we're increasing top down in this pattern. Uh, I will show you rows five and six just to show you the first set of established patterns, but we are repeating rows three and four. So row five begins with a chain six, which counts as a double crochet chain three. Turn our work and double crochet in that same chain three space. Whoops. Sometimes when I'm crocheting after a long chain, it helps to hook that chain with your ring finger to have better tension on your yarn. Okay, then we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next five double crochets.
then double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the space below the next double crochet, two together stitch. One double crochet into each of the next five double crochets. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the space below the double crochet two together stitch. Then two double crochets each in each of the next two double crochets. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet. All in the next stitch, two double crochets each in the next two double crochets. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet. One double crochet into each of the next five double crochets. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet. One double crochet each in the next five double crochets. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Two double crochets each in the next two double crochets. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Two double crochets each in the next two doubles. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet. One double crochet each in the next five doubles. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Under the double crochet two together. One double crochet into each of the next five double crochets. And then double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the last chain three space. And this is what your work should look like at the end of row five. It is a repeat of row three. You just have more repeats in between the edges and the corners. Now we're going to work row six, which is also a repeat of row four. Row six begins with a chain six, which counts as a double crochet chain three. Turn your work. Five double crochets in the first chain three space. chain two, double crochet two together over the first and the fifth double crochet of the next five double crochet section. Chain two, five double crochets in the next chain three space.
and our repeat for row six is, is chain two, double crochet two together, chain two, and five double crochets in the next chain three space. You want to repeat this all the way across. At the end of the last repeat, chain three and double crochet in that same chain three space. This is what your work should look like at the end of row six. You want to repeat rows three and four, which is what rows five and six were. You're going to continue in this established two row repeat, repeating rows three and four for your desired length. Then on the last repeat, you want to end on a row three so that you're perfectly positioned to begin the edging. As you can see here, I've done a couple more repeats of the pattern, and you're just going to want to do this even more to get the desired length that you want. Again, repeating rows three and four. And before you do the edging row, you want to make sure that you end on a row three. I thought it would be interesting to show you the two row edging repeat with a different colored yarn, just so you can really see with the contrast where we're actually working our stitches. So I'm going to join my yarn exactly where we left off. And if you are not changing color, by all means, do not fasten off. You know, just continue on where you uh, finished the last repeat of row three. So I'll just slip stitch into the, that last stitch so that we're in the same place that we were finishing the last repeat of row three. And the first edging row starts with a chain three. Then you want to work eight double crochets in the first chain three space. then one double crochet in each double crochet until we get to the next chain three space. nine double crochets in the next chain three space. Our repeat for this first row of the edging is to work one double crochet into each double crochet and nine double crochets in each chain three space. You want to repeat this all the way across. 
For a more ruffled edging, you could work two double crochets in each double crochet across and still work the nine double crochets in each chain three space. The only difference would be that with more increases, you would also need more yarn. This is what your work should look like at the end of the first edging row and the second edging row and the final row of the entire shawl starts with the chain three that counts as your first double crochet. Turn your work and work one double crochet in each stitch across. Follow the link in the video description to download the Isla Mirada crochet shawl pattern with chart. Like, follow, and share for more tutorials. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.